Hi guys, welcome to another Daily Ding. The daily new show that's, well, the last one was months ago, so you know, who cares. First up guys, good news. There's been a new story trailer released for Vampire. I'm really looking forward to this game. It's a story trailer, so it's not showing you any in-game action. It's just like cutscenes, but it's kind of setting the scene. The characters seem to be really cool in this. It's a game I'm really looking forward to, and it drops on the 5th of June. So I'll definitely be bringing you a wab for that. The, the trailer link's in the, in the description of the video if you want to watch the whole thing. But I must move on. I must move on. We're going to get to something that I find freaking hypocritical and hilarious now shadow of war are dropping microtransactions that's right guys um warner brothers and monolith are dropping microtransactions from middle earth shadow of war the game came out on the 27th of september last year and it's took them right up till now april 2018 to drop the microtransactions and this is what they've said this is what they've said there's a big big statement i'll just read you this a little bit the core promise of the nemesis system is the ability to build relationships with your personal allies and enemies in a dynamic open world while purchasing orcs in the market is more immediate and provides additional player options we have come to realize that providing this choice risks undermining the heart of our game the nemesis system it allows you to miss out on the awesome player stories you would have otherwise created and it compromises the same stories even if you don't buy anything now this bit here simply being aware that they are available for purchase reduces the immersion in the world and takes away from the challenge of building your personal army and your fortresses okay Warner Brothers Monoloth by saying that I assume you are not going to add any more microtransactions loot crates or anything else to any of your future games because you've just said that it undermines the heart of your game. It reduces the immersion in the world and takes away from the challenge of building your personal army and fortresses. But hey, the game's old now, everybody's finished with it. So sales is drying up in the microtransactions. Oh damn, what we're gonna do? I know. Let's 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 release a big statement saying how we listen to the people, we listen to the fans, and, and we are removing them. Let's join on that bandwagon, because gamers are so stupid and ignorant they'll believe us and they'll be saying oh, isn't that great what what Warner Brothers and Monolith doing isn't that great hey have you heard hey have you heard they're removing microtransactions they're listening to the people I like their company no guys this is just a big PR stunt I think the sales are drying up they just want to get back into the news sell a few more units of the game hey look no microtransactions and they've dropped a bollock guys because by this statement they are pretty much saying that they will never release any more microtransactions ever again because they don't believe in it because it undermines the game. I look forward to the next Warner Brothers monolith game. Oh yeah. We have some good news to end with. Assassin's Creed Origins are releasing what is called an animus control panel. There are 75 things, parameters, with 11 categories that you can change about the game. Essentially, it's a trainer. Remember trainers? In cheats. Remember in games when a game would be released and you'd play the game for a few months and then they would release the cheat codes in the gaming magazines, remember that? And then you could go into the game and just piss about, you know, Quake, IDDQD, IDKFA and all that. You know, it was great fun after you finished the game, you know, going back in and putting cheats on and just arsing around. Well, Ubisoft have released a control panel, well, they haven't released, it's coming out later this month, for Assassin's Creed Origins, where you can just control loads of different aspects. You can give yourself a herd of animals to be bodyguards with you and stuff like that. You can alter loads of parameters, like I say, 75 of them within 11 categories. It's totally free, but it's only for the PC version through Uplay. <laughs> Uplay. Oh, we have one more bit of good news, guys. One more bit of good news. Again, it's Ubisoft again. Now, Wildlands is getting a shit ton of free content. Now, I know a lot of people didn't like Wildlands, but it is hilariously good in co-op multiplayer. I love it in co-op multiplayer. And they are releasing a lot of stuff, which is starting on April the 10th. There's new campaign missions, new challenges with rewards, new PvP game mode called Sabotage. Everything is free. Five new maps as well. So a shit ton of free stuff coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. So, hey, I like free stuff because it's free. Speaking of free things, guys, Crusader Kings 2 is available this weekend uh, free on Steam. If you go to Steam on the homepage, you can grab a copy of it totally free. Uh, offer ends Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So there you go, guys. That's another daily ding. Sorry it's been a bit late since the last one, but reasons. Well, I don't have any reasons.